Yes, this is a hard geometry question. We do need to have uh, similar triangles. They do say that, right? So it's not like we have to guess that. Uh, but we also need to make sure that we are using our scratch paper and drawing this out, basically following instructions. And I do think that that is one of the things that the digital SAT has added on is that they know we don't have the ability to just draw on the picture anymore. So they're testing your ability to take information and sort through it. So you need to redraw this picture on your scratch paper. No exceptions. I don't care how good you are at keeping things in your head. If you get it wrong even a little bit, I promise that that wrong answer will be there as an answer choice to tempt you. So we need to be really careful. Luckily, I have an iPad, so I'm gonna just draw on it, but you can't do this on the actual test. You can't bring these little pencils as far as I know, unless they change the rules. Uh, so we gotta make sure we do this. Okay, we got the two triangles. Then we have a list of these um, uh, sides and then the four side lengths that go with them. And when we use that word respectively, what that means is just that the order that they were listed in first is the same as the order they are listed in second. So the order of S, T, Q, P, P, R, Q, R is the same order as 14, 15, 20, 25. So we're just gonna match them up, the first with the first. So S, T is 14, so S, T, 14. Q, P is 15, so Q, P is over here, that's 15. Uh, PR is 20, so PR is 20, that goes to here. And then QR is uh, 25, so QR 25. And what do we want? What is the length of SR? So that's right here, uh, we'll call it um, N, just for the sake of having some different letter from the X. Now the X doesn't really matter, we don't need to solve for it. Well, the reason that is there is to tell us how these sides correspond. So basically the way I think of it with similar triangles is if I do have an angle, I know that the sides that are both opposite that same angle are going to be the ones that are in proportion. So if I think about the X, I know that ST right here, uh, dude, that didn't highlight the way I wanted, uh, ST right here and QP right here are corresponding. And I know that because they're both across from the X, right? So just kind of like follow with your eye, right? If we go across, we're gonna hit the same side. So the 25 and the 20 in the left side triangle, they make up the X, but it's the one that's across that I find to be the most uh, easy way to kind of see what's going on. So in this case, because I'm looking for N, I'm looking for what's across from the right triangle uh, for the right angle. So I'm gonna use that as well. So that means I'm gonna use the 25. So the way I think of this, you don't have to, but I like to keep on each fraction the same side, right? So I'm gonna put the N on top because that's safest if the variables are on top. And then I'm gonna put the 25 on the bottom. So what I'm doing is I have the kind of hypotenuse of the small triangle and the hypotenuse of the big triangle. They're both hypotenuses, They're, that's the, they correspond, but I need to compare them to something else to kind of have that, that setup of whatever the proportion is, the ratio. That's what makes a similar triangle similar is their sides are in proportion. So I need to still go with the small triangle on the top and the big triangle on the bottom. Since I only have one side of the small triangle, I'm kind of boxed in here. I'm gonna do 14 because I don't really wanna to have to solve for RT. I, I don't really have a way to do that easily. Um, so 14 is going to be on the top of the other side. And then as we said, the 15 on the other side is what corresponds to that because they're both across from that angle X. So now I have everything I need. I have a, a proportion where I only am missing one piece. So we would solve that by cross multiplying and dividing. So. Uh, where can I fit this? N times 15 is 15N, oof, messy five. And then 14 times 25, I would just go with the regular calculator. 14 times 25 is 350. And then let's divide by 15 to get the N alone. So N is 350 over 15. Is that an answer? Yes. Now, that's not a reduced answer, so I don't know what's going on here. They just sometimes decide they don't wanna reduce a fraction. Fine, okay, great, that's good for us. But that is the answer. We could reduce it, but it's a good reminder, like always check in with your answer choices before you start doing extra work. You might end up having the answer already and then just out of robot habit, you're gonna do other things, but check in with the choices. The choices are part of the question. They give you, you know, sometimes just as much information as the question itself. So yes, that is the answer. Uh, this is a very basic cis, uh, similar triangles question, but like I said at the beginning, I do think the SAT has added in this component, the skill of can you take instructions from a question and use them on your scratch paper. So don't be shy. You can ask for more scratch paper if you need it. Just raise your hand during the test. They should bring you another piece, uh, but you need to be able to use it because you can't get a question like this wrong. It's near the end. 
but it is a very basic concept of how similar triangles work.